Good day guys. Um today in today's video we're going to talk about how to um close a work order or what most people also say close a PB01 work order like closing your shortages work order. All these are terms that we use um in the army. So how to do that before you even get to close um a work order. There are three phases. There are three things you need to do. We're going to this, this in this video. We're going to talk about closing a work order when your goose movement have been done. When I say goose movement, it means when you have actually consumed um, that the shortages to that work order. So that is what we're going to do right now, and let's get into it. Right there. So first of all, we will find um we we'll go to IW38, which is change PB01 orders. That is where we're gonna find our, our work orders, created work orders. One thing you can do is you can from the home screen you can just type in your IW38 in the command field, then hit enter. As a ritual that I do, mostly I tend to, first of all, you need to check these two um, box, outstanding and in processing. And my ritual is always to clean the first day out. So it's from when GCSS started to um, present day. Then you, you push in your order type. Then you put in your main work center. So your main work center is going to be your UIC. You need to identification code. Then you go to layout. So go, when you go to your layout, you hit that book leaf. You see a whole lot of lists. You choose PB01 IW39 just to display your, um, your work orders. Then you hit execute. Now there's something I want to talk about here. So you see what the written system status. This system status is going to show you what actually is the status of your work order. So as you can see, you can see some differences. So you can see this this means created but hasn't been released yet. So these are work orders that I created that hasn't been put on order, hasn't been released yet. And you can see this. The this means the item has been released and there has been some goose movement in the um there has been some goose movement and it's actually complete so you can actually do complete your business with this uh this what uh this status means and when you look at um this work that this means um this right there let me see wait, 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 which one which one Right there, okay, right there. So this, this means you you released it. There has been some goose movement, but there are still some uh, uh, item that hasn't been received yet. So you need to receive it before you can actually go ahead and close the work order. So today we're going to work on something like this, where everything um has been re uh, has been released. The goose movement has been moved. So we are not waiting on any. Uh, item to come in. So let's get, let's go on. Double click on it. Then you go to component. So as you, when you go to component, you can see, so there's a difference here. Um, I will, so the status told us everything is in. So we had only one item there. So we're going to close business so we're going to complete business right there you just have to click complete business then the work order will be closed then you hit the green check mark order save so now we want to see if this item ending at the work order ending 8818 is still 
closed or it's still open so we're going to ref refresh the page and as you can see it's no longer there so this actually bring us to the end of how to close a work order when boost movement has been done we are not waiting on any other item to come in so that is how it is done and thank you for watching this video please you can subscribe and share so that other 92 yankees will have this knowledge thank you